we're going yet? No, we're going. Okay. We're going. No, I see. Okay, I'm going. No! Hello, welcome to Shop Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm here. <laughs> Alright, in the chapel. What's your Bible verse then? No, let's see here. We have it up. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 17, 22. That's a good one, huh? Yep. Okay. All right, see you, folks. So we're that supposed to be good. funny, right? You've been sick. You're supposed to be funny. Oh, I'm funny? Oh, okay. No, you're supposed to be a cheerful heart. Hmm. Well, I got a grape slushy, so I'm all cheery. We did. We went for a little treat. All right, so... What happened in the barn stalls? No. Got bigger. Okay, folks. I mean, you won't even fit in all the camera. I know, and now Moose wants up here. Put him down. That is not what happened in the barn stalls. He got bigger, though. Yes, it happened in the barn stalls. He got chased in the barn stalls by a very, very mad you. By you? You. E W E. I'm very mad you. So he last week twins. we put that Melody had gone in the barn, right? And what happened? He's on the ground, folks. This is that big deal. <laughs> Get him down off me. Mommy said no. Go. Okay, so last week I put in that little clip at the end about Melody being in the barn and watched her and we watched her and we watched her. And what happened? Nothing. Who is that too? Oh, it's the it's male. See? Oh, okay. Um. Oh, that's dead. So, okay, stop. I got four mail. It's to our Don't house now. Yes, it is. Exactly. What? Oh, and you notice how he bypassed the bill. Hey, that doesn't have my name on it. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to in the barn stalls. Okay. In the barn so, stalls. So, last week we had put her up mm -hmm. because she was pretty swollen. Her bag was full. We just knew it was going to be any time now. And what happened? Nothing. You're encouraging him to do that. Make him stop and make him go on. Unless every time you sit down to eat, you want him right there. See what you started? <laughs> Problem solved. And he's right there sitting, but don't let him jump up on you. Um. So... When we put in there, sorry, I'm working to, I'll put it on silent. Um, we put her in there, and what happened? Nothing. We left it up there for like three days, maybe four days. We left her up there. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. So I turned her out. Got tired of waiting. And what was it a day later, two days later, she had Thursday morning. Yeah, I put her out. What was it? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday I put her out. Thursday morning? She had twins. I'm busy working, can't you see? Do you see it sticks, folks? Look, it's stuck. <laughs> okay, come on, we got downtime because you're not carrying it. But it, it stopped like what? These people are still in awe of this thing sticking. No, they're not. Well, I still am. I was. Okay, I mean, tell about Melody. What did she have? She had twins. I said that. She had twins. Twin girls. Thank you. What'd you name them? Are we going to... See, you need to discuss the whole uh, thing. Lindsay. No, and he's, making, he's making stuff up. Okay, so we pretty much just Felicia. <laughs> this year, it's just the open characters. Okay, it's just opening. I mean, book characters, TV characters, movie characters, characters in your life. He's a character. i got to finish this tech. So keep talking to them. Oh, it's going to be characters. So, uh, oh, uh, these two oh, are, uh, well, I'm uh, thinking Thelma and Louise for these two, because not uh, anybody's oh, chiming in. Uh, oh, what's the twins' names from the Parrot Trap? Uh, uh, I know you know that movie. You know what I'm talking about? I do, too. Lindsay Lohan in it, uh, Okay, down, before down, that, down. it was not. It was Patty Duke made the original parent track. Right, but I know the Disney version, okay? But, uh, oh, uh, what's their names? Uh, mm, I can't 
can't think of it. I'm I can't either. We can, we can look it up. We no, that's what up. I was thinking. Was those two. I don't know. Kate Nash? No, that's a different show. Mary Kate and Ashley is from Fuller uh, from Full House, the yeah. original one. Ah, uh, dang it. I can't think of them two girls' names. I know. Well, it's played by Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, I know. Everybody. And it's also gonna... played by Patty Duke, but we want the character names. Yeah. And I don't Somebody remember. Somebody comment on this thing, please. <laughs> it's Jack. Preferably crazy. before we upload it. I was it, thinking like, Selma, right Thelma and Louise because they did their own thing. You know, didn't come when we expected them to and all that stuff. So, sorry, that's done now. Um, but anyway, this they do done. need names. Perfect. Not, See you guys. Mm -mm, I'm drinking that orange, that grape slushy if you do that. You contaminated it. Mm -hmm. Now you have to stay here. Oh, that's cold <laughs> and very great. <laughs> okay, so that's what's happening in the barn stalls. Anything else? Um, we ha are checking a couple of others. But if you remember way back when we decide when we were discussing breeding season the rams didn't listen did they they got out yeah um knight is the father to this one and how do we know this i don't know okay well first off none of them have one ear i mean he only has one ear so i mean it's not that's like not it okay none so, of them have a limp. It's a limp. <laughs> son i don't know stop Mom. it you do too okay first off ralphie is gotland mm -hmm. if it was his baby. Would it be kinky, curly like that? He's a long wool. No, oh, probably not. And so his fleece would look more like a Shetland. The babies would. Okay. Now, I've always said that it was Knight because Knight escaped more. Well, him and the goat. Mm -hmm. So, Rami's not a bad boy. Uh, anyway, so, no. Yeah. Then, Rami... What color is he? Brown. If he, last year when we used him, what color were all the babies? Brown. Pretty much brown. So, that only leaves Mr. Knight. And we are kind of glad that we only have those three rams with very distinct features because we know what is passed down through what, right? Yep. So, yeah, fleece properties definitely plays a role in it. And if Rami had um, all of his babies last year were brown, and then uh, the cleanup ram, of course, had longer wool. So it is supposed to be night this year, but we decided that since we're getting rid of Rami, and we didn't keep, not Rami, uh, Ralphie, and we didn't keep any of his babies, this is his final year, so we let him do it to it, didn't we? Mm hmm so, um, after that, uh, we also have Matthew, and he needs a new home, because, why? We gave his two babies. We kept his two babies last year to replace Holly and Sweetie. So, we have one of Holly's and one of Sweetie's, and uh, they aren't going to be bred this year or next year, so, right? No. Last year, this year, they will be bred next year. So, but that means it's time for Matthew to go to another home because there's nobody here he can breed. And it means that Ralphie needs to go to another home. And that leaves us with two rams. Who is that? Knight and Rammy. Yep. And we rotate those back and forth so they don't have to be replaced, do they? We just keep them. So, um, yeah. It is what it is. All right. Mending fences. What has broke down? What have you tore up? What have you had to no, fix? I haven't had to fix anything all week. Had to fix you. Yep. All week. Okay, we're getting to that in the farm in the farmhouse. Uh, next. Do you no, remember? No. Many fences. Yarn farm. Mm. What's in the yarn farm? Yes, you had visitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Okay, so Monday. Yeah, Monday I had a visit from. Discover Oklahoma. Get the packet. No, it's not Discover Oklahoma. Get the packet. Country travel discovery. And they're putting together. Uh, 
Travel Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Tour guide. Yeah. So, but they do bus tours, correct? Yep, they do bus tours. They do a bunch of overseas ones. That's where they started out, was taking people overseas, seeing things. Now they've been setting up stuff for state side. Yep, for each state. So they have some states already in place. What have they come to you and asked you to do? Steve, the president and founder, mm -hmm. uh, and his assistant. Or Vicky. Vicky, or tour coordinator. She's the tour coordinator, yeah. 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 She, uh, they came by, wanted to look at the place, look around, see what everything was like, maybe bring people by twice a year on a bus tour, you know. So a full so, bus of people, and what yeah. do they want you to do? Uh, they want to see the animals, talk a little bit about them, maybe see some horses, kind of thing. And what demo did they want done? Roping. Roping demo. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're good with that, right? Mm -hmm. So, that was in the yard farm. I also got asked to do a uh, farm and, and home show. I can't. Um, just not in our forte. Yeah. Well, first off, the booths are way too high. And secondly, it's on a weekend that you're not available, correct? Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, they wanted almost $400 for a 10 by 10 booth. Not going to happen here. So, anyway, all right, anything else in the yard farm? Um, we will know about whether they actually put us on the, the thing later. So, there was that day. Oh, here we go. We're just to, son, we're just in the yard farm. Let's move on to what one thing. Okay, I can move on. Okay, I got your slushy. Ice cream in the freezer. See ya. Get your butt over here and finish. Um, in the field. In the field. Can you please answer? What's going on in the field? I'm wiggling my it's, butt in here. It's too wet yeah. to do. Okay. We still have the stuff for the tiny house in the barn. As soon as it dries up enough. I got a guy coming out to look to uh, give me an estimate on putting it all up. Because while I was going to do it, I think somebody else would be faster, don't you? Mm -hmm. And I need to get it up. We have short time spans where there's no rain and getting the tin on, and I don't want the wood to ruin. So, yeah, it is what it is, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So, a little change of plan. I might not be able to build the shell, but after that, I'm building everything in it. Um... Anything else in the fields? That was a thing. What? That one thing. Tell me about it. Oh, you know, it's over there. By the Dillon Whopper. Next Which to the Whatchamacallit. It's next to the Whatchamacallit. Which Whatchamacallit? There's three out there. Oh, the Whatchamacallit next to Doohickey. Define like, Doohickey. It's sitting next to that one yes, thing beside the whatchamacallit. Sitting beside the doohickey that's sitting beside the telewhacker. Northwest, south, and <coughs> east of the house. <coughs> it is on the east <laughs> and three steps to the north. <laughs> in other words, he has nothing in mind. That's where you get it when you ask north, south, east, what? Because... He could be talking about anything, anywhere, and he can rationalize it out in his head. He's not lying because there really is somewhere in the world, some, and when you ask which direction in the house, he don't know. If I went, well, we're looking east, so I went east, like three <laughs> steps north. By the way, folks, that puts you in the middle of the road. <laughs> Well, I'm sure on that road somewhere <laughs> there is. That's right. Okay. Where did we leave off? In the field. So let's go to in the farmhouse, right? Is that what's next? Sure. Okay, so my in the farmhouse is I am joining a club, a crochet club. <gasps> You're uh, in a club. I, no, no, it's. 
It's any knits or something. They've got a crochet Did thing they in there. They have a, no, stop it. They have an Afghan. It's a square by square thing. And I'm thinking about joining it because once you get the patterns and the yarn, yes, it has everything for you to make one, but you get to keep the patterns so you can make more than one Afghan. And I really like the look of the Afghan. Um, the blocks aren't big and they're not just granny square blocks, so that I really like it. Sit your butt down. Your part is coming up next. So I'm gonna do that. Last night I went to a fundraiser for. <laughs> I just barely caught him. <laughs> Son, I got you by the leg. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I went to a fundraiser for Red Dirt Foundation, right? Which is a fund <coughs> that helps, <laughs> I got it now, that helps out musicians who are struggling. So in other words, if there's a car wreck and a musician is on his way or, or is supposed to have play music and for some reason he can't, they'll step up and step in and, and help with finances for those um musicians that are struggling uh let's see what else did i do anything i'm gonna join that club i haven't done it yet i'm cutting off the circulation of my son's arm um you just think i you might be me. moving with my job correct i might you be transferring she um she, i might be transferring to a different house so i might have less of this going on um, but it's also less drive time. <laughs> you got it like this. She's got her arm like this, like on top of like a lot. And then you got my arm running through it. I, I got it. Um, so, son, <laughs> I'm going to transfer, um, hopefully. You need to get puffy hair so and I it can will do this. Cut, it will cut my uh, drive time down from an hour and 15 minutes. And then I put in my 40 hours and then I come home. Driving an hour and 15 minutes quick. It will cut my drive time, time literally down to 30 minutes each way. So that's what I'm hoping for, right? Cuts it less than half. Yes. So, okay. So in the farmhouse, what was what going the? on with you? I don't want you running away. <laughs> She's pinching me, folks. She's pinching me. I am not. I've got a hold of you. I can get away, I think. <laughs> get over here. Okay, so my beloved son. It started Wednesday, right? Yeah. Got too thick. No. You had a head cold. Last Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I had a head cold for a while. So you took what to help get rid of it? Moxicillin. Got rid of most of it. Okay. Well, still had a cough and all that stuff. Mm hmm But... Um, so, then his cheese started to hurt a little bit. Yeah. He said, Monday, I'm going to the dentist. He said, okay. Oh, right away. We, we kind of talked about it on here that you had a toothache. Mm -hmm. Well, just for the record, apparently the dentists are closed on President's mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. So, Monday, he couldn't go. But it doesn't matter because he didn't make it that far. Oh. Um, what happened on Sunday? Oh, his that head just swelled, swelled right <laughs> Had a swollen face. Yep. Just went to sleep, woke up, and it was oh. Yeah. Looked like she had just sucked a bunch of me. I mean, for those oh. of us who are old enough to remember, Cher put out a movie. I believe it was called Elephant Man. It was based on a true story about a kid who had a disease that um, gives him extra calcium deposits or whatever. And RJ's whole face, like, looked like his in that movie. So. Um, yeah. Where'd we go Sunday? He got up, got dressed. Got lightheaded in the bathroom. Got lightheaded in the bathroom. And where did we go? ER. The emergency room. Where we proceeded to stay for five hours. <laughs> Why is that? I slept through about four hours, so I don't remember much. Mm-hmm. What were they worried about? 
it busting open and the infection going somewhere. Where were they scared of it going? My brain, my no. eye. My... Your eye was her main concern. She didn't think it could get to the brain because <coughs> it, it was already pushing down to the tooth. So she didn't think that you know gravity would send it back up. But she didn't swear to that. She says, you know, if it gets in the bloodstream, stranger things have happened. She says, this is the first time I've ever seen this. So she was worried mostly about it getting in your eye. Why? Explain. Is this your good eye? Well, yeah. This is your good eye? No, this is. Which I side was forward? I one. know, but I pointed to this one. I said, is this, is this, is this, is this, is this? No. <laughs> I can not see you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why you can't see me do it. I can't see you do it. I can't see. Okay, so which side? The infection, my, our point is, is that the infection was on your good eye. Mm -hmm. Correct. And they were worried about it getting back up in to the eye and messing with the muscles and if he loses that eye she said potentially it could make him blind and we all know if rj loses sight in the one good eye he's got where does that leave you well hungry blind i gotta get even hungrier <laughs> anyway so he'll be blind and hungry um he'll just be blind so and hungry. she put him on a narcotic a steroid and a triple antibiotic with an antibiotic enhancer. That tells you how serious <coughs> she was. She says, you go to the dentist tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow morning, the dentist is closed. She said, in between there, if it, something happens, come back to the emergency room. Well, Tuesday morning, he gets up, he goes to the dentist. Well, they are like, can't do a whole lot because of all the swelling. And what they do? Gave me a different antibiotic. Took him off all that other stuff. Right? You didn't yeah. have to take any of the other stuff. But you got on a different antibiotic. Now keep in mind, he's been on antibiotic for now a week. And he still has a massive infection running rampant in his face. Yep. Alright. So they say, come back Wednesday. We'll do a full root canal. Drain all that stuff, right? Yep. Okay. You go back in Wednesday. What happened? They couldn't get it numb because it was too swollen. That so. means they couldn't do what? The root canal. Yeah. yeah. They just went. But they had to get, it still wasn't draining. So what did they do to your tooth? Well, they did a partial root canal. He drilled into it. Yeah, drilled into it and, and then, then drained it all. Sat there and poked on my face for, it felt like hours and hours and hours. And It was drilled. about, what, 20 minutes you said? Yeah, I was back there for like 45 minutes to an hour. But they they pushed on it and so literally... So they worked on it for like 30 minutes or better. Like pushed that down. Mm -hmm. Out the tooth. It came out the tooth. Like Not out around the no, gums. Out around, of the hole out of the, in the tooth. Yes. So, anyway, they'd already worked on that tooth before. He'd had a cavity in it before and they fixed it and... So, it is what it is, right? All right, so Wednesday you come home. You've got to make another appointment for full work canal and to repair the tooth, right? Yep. So he's still got one more to go. But what are the residual effects? What do you got left? You just have a knot, right? Yeah, it's got a little bump right here. Like you can't even see it in the camera. But yeah. And it, feel it. today his face is a whole lot better. Yeah, there's no swelling left, nothing. Th yeah. Three days, four days. On the right antibiotic, but it yep. took three different antibiotics. Well, that one was a triple <coughs> antibiotic and an antibiotic enhancer, and I'm not sure that enhancer did a darn thing for it. No, nothing. Mm -mm. So, the last one they put you on was the strongest they had in the clinic, correct? Mm -hmm. At the pharmacy. So, just pray, pray, pray that. RJ's infections stay away. He he's always had a compromised immune system, but it seems like the older he gets, because they've had to put him on so much medication, the less the medications are working. So he's got I don't know super hyped up infections or really strong infections that aren't reacting to anything. So who knows? <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then you went to a 
team roping practice, right? Who'd you take? I took Star. This is how sick he was. He didn't rope any. He didn't go out, even saddle a horse, till Thursday, huh? Right. Okay, so Thursday night you took Star and went to a team roping practice. How'd you do? She did good. Mm -hmm. And then last night was Friday night. How'd you do? I went to the rope and went second and third. Mm-hmm. Who'd you rope on? Coop. Oh. Little handy dandy coop. So Shit. the breaking roping, I guess, kind of helped him. Right? Uh, yes. Who knows? All right. Well, anything else we're going to tell them? Anything we left out? There was that thing. Oh, God. That's that north of the, or east of the house and north three steps. Yep. Mm -hmm. What has Gordy started doing in the morning? I'm going to have to try and video it. Oh, he, he comes out, and if I don't get up by 8 o'clock, he's out there beating on his feed pan. RJ's been sick, so he's been late feeding. He gets up and he goes and carries his little so feet. So Gordy, baby. who is the one with the blown up knee, we've had him since he was really little, and uh, he comes up and you hear him thumping his feed pan. Thump you can up. hear him all the way through the house, too. Yeah, it's not like he's just right outside, because RJ's bedroom is right outside that pasture. Gordy's not even right outside his bedroom window. He's out past the dog kennel with that thing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And he is kicking it with his foot. Just with loud. his bad foot. Yeah, his bad foot. He bad just foot. Kicks. He just beats on with his bad foot. It's funny to see. It's annoying when you've been up at a fundraiser and RJ's been out roping and they can wait an hour. <clears throat> Apparently Gordy doesn't think so. Right? Yep. So it is what it is. <laughs> but it's funny. All right. Anything else? Yeah. Not really. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get off here. i got to do laundry. I'm, I'm going good. singing tonight. What are you doing tonight? Wait. Roping. You're going to a roping? Okay, so he's going roping. I'm doing laundry. I'm going to both sing, and then we'll be home, and hopefully this will be uploaded probably sometime tonight. What is this? Saturday night? So it'll be uploaded by Saturday night. So... <coughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. He's already gone. Look, he's always taking his medicine. It's a blue pill, isn't it? It's not weird. What did you show him? We don't even know which one it is, do we? It's a C L I N D A M Y C I N. And he's a little blue pill. RJ's on a little blue pill. Okay, it's a real big blue pill, but. And there's another one over there that you take in there, or is it just the that ivy? Just for when it's hurting really bad. Yeah. They but he hasn't had he hasn't had to take those, so. I took a couple. Yeah, we. I know that there are pain pills prescribed, but we take them as little as we can, always. So, all right, we're off of here. We will see you next week. Come say goodbye. Bye. Kisses. You gotta put. I was gonna put them. Oh. Next. There you go. All over the place.